Hello and welcome back. You know how, as you, if you're a die, classic, die cast collector like me, as the year go, years go by, sometimes you forget about what you have. Well, that happened to me. I, uh, we, I moved years ago and I packed away a lot of my die cast that I had back in the 90s and 2000s, which I, uh, early 2000s which was the majority was TV and movie cars and as you know in my channel as you can see in the background Mr. T sitting around there with his 18 vans there's even a General Lee here that we're getting ready to do something with and you know Smokey and the Bandit in the background so TV cars and movie cars have been a big big part of my childhood and my adult life <laughs> They mean a lot to me. Uh, I think they're one of they're my favorite things to, to do on the on the channel. And till I brought I was up at my parents' house over the holidays, and I got a totes of my stuff that I forgot I had, and I was quite amazed of what I have collected over the years. And I just wanted to share some of that with you. Hopefully, one of these days I'll have a diecast room, and. I'll be able to display all my cars that I've built, plus all of my amazing original stuff. And I just watched a video from Danny's Diecast Disasters, and I mentioned to him all the time about Ertl and how cheesy a lot of their stuff was back in the 80s and early and late 70s. And I had a lot of it, and for some reason or other, that was the only company that was making a lot of Diecast. But maybe i'll break this up into two videos but we'll start with the first one here i got a shitload of stuff to get through we'll start with some of the Ertl stuff um i would go around the toy shoes back in the day and buy this stuff up like this original Ertl cannonball run ambulance and i think this dates back to 19 1981 yep 1981 this came out and it's mint on the card don't ask me where i got it but recreate the adventures of the cannibal run with your very own cannibal run cars so that was one of the ones that i have let me find a place to put these um next one i got here a little a little known sh show called simon and simon and it's, I guess, it's Simon and Simon's core, or Cam I Rock Camaro. And, you know, they have to put the name Simon and Simon on the door just so the kids would know what the hell it is. Really, guys? That's all. But this is also from 1981, but it's just for the simple fact that it's an original package makes it really cool. Um... I got this one back here I got from a good friend of mine, but and then I remembered I had bought one. This is an original one from back in the days. You can see it has the cheesy stickers on the side. This must be a later version because they used actually used tampos. And they just used plain old cardboard stickers just like Matchbox did. And but it has survived all these years. And it's got the cool pictures of everybody. And this is one of the earlier ones when they still had Amanda Allen on there. Amy Allen, whatever her name was. So, really glad I collected these. They, they weren't really too terribly cool, but it's kind of neat to see them now. I got this Ertl replica. It's got a collector's handbook in it. I've never opened the damn thing. So, and it is from... I don't know what year, but it, it's it's still cool. It's got a it's got a diecast mag. It's got the collector's handbook in there with that, and it's it's an '82 Firebird, the ugly years of the Firebird. Now here's one of my favorites, but not in this diecast. But look at that package. How cool is that? The Fall Guy, Stuntman Association. And she is mint. I don't know 
one that has one in the back. No pictures of Jody. No, nope, damn it. From 1982. And then here comes another one. One of the shows that had a great opening scene. For that pack full of action, but the show was just boring as hell. But it had the uh, Cody Coyote. Check that out. Forgot I had that. Forgot I had most of these. That's pretty cool. I think they used in the later later era, they used a DeLorean that was customized because what's his name? The old guy at the Judge Harge Castle couldn't get in and out of it. So, and we're back to the Cannonball Run. How cool was that? This is how this is how stupid Ertl was, or thought us kids were. There, that was the one that Dean Martin and Sammy Davis Jr. drove. It was a Ferrari 308 GTS, just like Magnum PI drove, and they gave us a Ferrari Dino. It just says Ferrari, but it's obviously a Dino. They thought us kids were stupid, but anyways, it's still an awesome package and it survived since I was a child. Okay, and the next one we have is another Coyote Coyote from Hardcastle and McCormick. Damn, I got two of them. And look, you have they have to put the name on the back, Hardcastle and McCormick, so we know what show that was from. Nice big letters. Okay, here we go. Another one from the Cannonball Run. How cool is that? That is... The aren't the chic Jamie Farr's too much couscous. Bulls Royce. And they put the cannibal run on the door so we know what it is. Very cool though. And another one from the cannonball run. This is another one of the ones that we that that said, "Oh, look how stupid these kids are." We'll put a. A four door. Well, no, it's a two door. Actually, I, I take that back. It's a two door Chevrolet Caprice. Yep, they just put it as a 1980 Chevrolet to make it generic. But we all know that he jumped the Laguna into the pool, like a '73 Laguna. And later on, when they primered it, it, was a Monte Carlo. That was a big photo. That was a big movie glitch. But gosh, Mel Tillis and Terry Bratch are sure were funny in this thing. And the, there it is, Cannonball Run on the Hood. Hawaiian Tropic Car, knit in the package. And last but not least from the Cannonball Run, we have the Porsche 911 that only had a brief, brief showing. And I think it was actually lots of brown with lots of primer on it. And this is, and uh, at the very beginning, before they decided to get the ambulance, when they they crash this thing into the front and he rips all the, the quarter panels off of it. And you know, you have to stick that cool cannonball run sticker right on the hood so we know. And, it, and that's, and it's so cheesily, it's like a clear decal. It, it's barely on there. Boy, the, the quality control was top notch on these Ertles. But it did have a metal base. So, but the casting was, look at that thing. It looks like a frog. <laughs> Captain Chaos. So, and then, let's get into one of my favorite subjects. Well, I got one more left of the, these. Check this out. Six-pack with Kenny Rogers. And there it was his, first, his, his, his stock car that he had at the beginning for Race and Dirt Track. They threw it on the uh, same casting as the Hardy's car, which was the Roadrunner car. Hardy's Roadrunner. And they put, but they re, it says six-pack on the back and Brewster Breaker. It's kind of cool. And check out this. This thing's never been hit, never been hung. Still has the thing in the middle. So from 1982, which also had a whole bunch of people in there. I think Anthony Michael Hall was in it, which was a big 80s star. Um, there's a couple of them in there. I can't think of the rest of them. The oldest, the oldest girl in there, she was famous, but I can't think who, what her name is right offhand. But... Yep, there's the Brewster Baker du uh, Dirt Track Camaro. And now we're getting into the good stuff, and I'm missing one of them here somewhere, and I don't know what happened to it, but maybe it'll turn up later. There she is. Smokey and the Bandit with the correct retooling, but it had the big dumb stickers on the door, as you can see. 
and then she is glued to the glued fast to the card you can see it's the 80 it's well it's it's not even a correct trans am but it's it's they had two casts and they used like a 75 trans am and then they had this one which is like a 79 trans am with the with the front but this one's looks a little bit closer than the than the other one they had this is what they did to us kids man it traumatized me you know look how big that sticker on the door is it says bandit there it is but it's still cool it's Smokey and the bandit and it survived all these years and this came out in 1980 so they probably had this following up on Smokey and the bandit too And now I got some of the little, these, these were reissues. I have the Dukes of Hazard 3 pack. And these were the, the original v ca castings. They came out in 97. So it's the original generally. Danny just restored one of those. And of course there, there we go again with a repurposing with the Pontiac Bonneville. They never, they had Furies and Monaco's and all that stuff. And then we have Boss Hogs Cadillac. So it's still, it's a very cool piece put out by Ertl. They were, re, re, they were re, reprodu, reprodu, eh, reproductions. Oh, I almost forgot one of the most important ones here. How freaking cool is that? That's the actual bandit right there from Ertl Superstars. This ought to be worth a pretty penny now. I never, not that I'd ever sell it. There's Burt Reynolds on all his glory. And this is from Smoking the Bandit too. He's got this red, his red uh, Firebird jacket on. They just sold it at auction about a year or two ago. So look at that. Smoking the Bandit too. I got one more big Smoking the Bandit thing I'll have to show you. Check this out. Let's see if I bring it back. The Smoking the Bandit playset. Comes with your elephant with the older style 70. I think it's like a let me get some of the dust off there. It's the older style 74, no 75 Trans Am. Yeah, and you got there's the Dukes of Hazard car. Shit. There it is, right there. The Dukes of Hazard car. So, and we have his cousin Gaylord's police car from the Canada, whatever it was, when at the end when they had the big chase. And we have a Ford van, which I have no clue why it's in there. It's a filler, guys. They thought we, we it was just a filler car, but there, there's a little bit better, clearer picture. But you can see... Just at the front end there, it's got a round headlight with square grills. But that's what we had to play with, guys. And here's what the playset looked like. Reenact, Smokey and the Bandit. The Gator Motel, the Everglades Gas. That was actually all part of uh, Burt Reynolds Ranch when they pulled off to get gas. I'm surprised it didn't come with a, a gator. Let's take a look at the back. Some of the artwork on these things were just phenomenal. Each playset is designed for a combination of different things. Collect other Ertl playsets. That's really cool. Smokey and the Bandit 2 playset. Got the cool pictures. That's from the first movie. That's from the first movie. But it's, I, it's uh, pretty darn cool. Alrighty. I got some more. There it is. There's the one I was looking for. Let's see. Let's cover it up here. Look at that. That's an original. That is not a... This is a 19, 9, 1981. It says 1981. Look how... Look how... Look what we... This is what we had. Look at the stickers on the door. And the stickers on the roof. It was just a... a paper sticker stuck on the doors and you play with it for once and it fall off but but how cool is it has, has it survived this long made in iowa printed in usa Subsi subsidiary of k-i-d-d-e incorporated 
But yep, that's a real one. That's a real one from my childhood. Couldn't tell you where I got it, but I got it. But that's about 15 minutes right there, fellas. Um, we can go over some more another day. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this. And we'll, we'll do another one sometime.